Well, fortunately, I had already been in the booth four times before the first football game last fall, getting the the platform and the the viewing lines right. Uh, And I really appreciate so much Keith Boaz and the folks uh, there at Plaster to do that and take time to make sure it was right. So I had a good perspective to watch the games. But really, when I went there to test it the first time being in the booth, and, and getting in there, that was probably the most emotional. I saw my wife through the glass and she was tearing up, and, you know, that here I am back where I'd, I'd done so many games before and didn't know I'd be able to get back there again. On actual game day, since I'd been there a few times, uh, it wasn't uh, like it was the first. I did uh, enjoy it, uh, you know, all the, the well-wishers and, it was great getting up on my throne there that they'd made for me and and getting ready to do the game. And when we went on the air, I had the first 30 seconds scripted uh, because I wanted that to be just what I was going to say. And then that was it. Then it was on to the ball game, and we didn't say another word about it until maybe the very end. But uh, it's never been about me. It's about the games, about the players. And uh, But I have been extremely... Uh, humbled and gratified by all the people that have reached out to me today and and really throughout the last two years and throughout the last 44 years. And Springfield and Missouri State have welcomed me and my family with open arms and you know I've I've been a, a strong part of the university family I feel like all those years and will continue to be uh, in an emeritus uh, situation. So I have been blessed to uh, to land in Springfield back in 1977 through a variety of circumstances and uh, to be here for the most part the whole time since. Uh, It's been a great ride and I'm so appreciative of everybody uh, making it that way.